Whoopsie. <laughs> Mischievous. Well, well, you just, uh. Oops. They just destroyed their entertainment and ruined the rest of that guy's life. Oh no, not again. <laughs> if only. <laughs> only I could push all of those off. Oh no. I tried it right away. I was kind of disappointed. Hey, look at that. I see another vending machine. You will need to find them all to get everything out of there. This is quite a huge area, to be fair. Uh, once, once you'll get to know it quite well. Uh, it's, it becomes smaller as you get to know it. Because that's kind of how things work anyway. At least for me. Like, once you get to know a map, no matter how big it is, it, yeah, it becomes, it becomes smaller because you know where everything is. It's just like even if it's big, then you're like, um, oh, yeah, I just need a fast travel. This so guy's got a uh... exactly yeah. tomorrow's. Sounds cool. Here, watch that. There's an achievement get that you can get doing what you're doing now, what you've done before. But yeah, it's literally I I I'll just save you the BS and uh just when you're not doing anything, leave the computer on and do this and walk away for an hour. So basically, like, play music for an hour. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing to do with music. Or just take a cat nap. Or probably yeah. something along those lines, I guess. Yep. Uh, just fucking lay down in one of the many <laughs> places. And just a little stay there. <laughs> you got a bag on your head. Curiosity killed the cat achievement. <laughs> <laughs> Have a bag. Take safe's mysterious password. It's written, follow the numbers, but it looks like a binary language. A succession of zeros and ones. If you go to decipher this code in one way or another, it's probably related to this safe. Okay, so I'm thinking... I'm thinking there might be a way to decode that. I mean, there's definitely some way into it. And... I find my way to a certain place. Yeah, I can't tell you. Oh, right. We've been around. Excellent. Yeah, the like ground level. It, it makes the air seem smaller. The Going up higher and stuff. And... 
the place expands a lot more. Like travel around a lot more the higher uh, it means duffa bar strange who gives a rendezvous via binary code hmm. all right so we need to look for duffa bar Probably the bar we went to before, right? Just as a hunch. We should read the signpost. Artaman, Super Spirit Lady, Grandma Clothing, Elliot Programming. Okay, so that's everything that's here. You know, the, the signs were actually helpful for me. When I was first getting to know the area. But then you get to know the area from down there, but then rooftop wise. It takes a minute. Are you trying to be a naughty kitty? That's something in here. Yeah, what's funny is. Before I even talk to the people, I I did the thing. Oh, okay. Now there's a thing I did that you haven't done, and, and it was just because that that was just my nature of playing this type of game. So I to make have a good one, dude. Okay. Yeah, make a have a good one. Make make me some uh, sourdough bread. Yeah. The pizza that'd be nice. Yeah, send it on over. I'll eat it. Side, mate. Get a little memory. He looks not very happy. So the code said the bar. Something underneath here. Can't be that. Yeah, right. make a say a letter. Yeah, that'd be awesome if we could all meet up. 
go up and knock knock and stream uh, right in front of us. <laughs> and then we can all just say our comments out loud. Without delay. Okay, so my thought process there, which was clearly wrong, was that the code was the month and um, year yeah. of the employee of the month picture. Yeah, I mean, but there's I no. I, I guess, I guess what I, my first instinct was to do what I did. Yeah, they were. I mean, obviously, different people playing see things differently. So there's things you've done that. Uh, uh, when I did it, I did it worse. But as far as doing it wrong or anything, uh, I, I don't think it's the sort of game that's got a right and wrong, though, to be fair. Shit, I, I can't hear. Uh, okay. I got, uh, if you like a little spicy, I got a uh, sub. One case of readers. I got it last night. You got a what? Okay, well, uh, I got the case of Rita. Well, it's not. Yep. Super yes, spirit can. detergent. Hey. That's three energy cans. Super Spirit Detergent. Where are we going to get that from? That's funny. That was one of the first things I found. <laughs> uh, I'm amazed that you've been in, you've been here this long and you haven't found it. And it just goes to show how. Uh, different players perceive the same environment. And what and what draws their attention to whatever place. It's like Oh yeah, I mean it's 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 similar sort of thing for Well I mean, any just, any game. Any, anything, yeah. It's yeah. like it's like it's like you're playing a, a Portal Two map, isn't it? Yeah. You, you you see things that other people don't see, and that's the difference between solving a map real quickly or taking three hours to solve something. Yeah, exactly. And I, I've been on, like we all have on both sides of that. Uh, but yeah, it's just what I did in this game drew me to, I don't know, I guess I was certain things caught my attention as opposed to I think it's your, like everybody has a different way of the game style what they're looking for uh, where they perceive things yeah uh, and all that stuff changes everything but yeah it's funny that what, what you're looking for it's like literally the, probably the first thing I got. Among uh, another thing that you get. Yeah, it's just a memory.
Ew. Yeah, you don't meow enough. You gotta let the world know what's going on. Walk around and meow, yeah. <laughs> Catapult achievement unlocked. The what? Catapult. No idea what that's for. Uh, can you spell that? I'll jump 500 times. Okay, okay. As in a catapult, as in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they actually put that in the achievement cat hyphen. Yeah. Uh, hyphen bolt. I mean, I'm kind of holding off going to see Momo, but maybe I should go and see him. Yeah, you, you're so close. I don't know if it was just me, but I think early in the game, if you meow, it shows you where you need to go. But yeah, it, did with the, it does with the lights um, before you pick up the robot. Yeah, I thought I thought it showed you like if you meow, it the yeah the bulbs would light up and and the direction you should go. But then it stopped doing that for me anyway. Yeah, it's like the it, it was, I I the way I perceived that it was just like a way for the game to. It's like the robot was telling you to like come to it. And obviously, once you've been to the robot, then it doesn't need to try and draw your attention anymore and direct you where to go. It's never going to work. Why don't I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? It's the picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had that dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that crappy transceiver doesn't work. My friend and I took our notes out. Let's do our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go there. My mom's notebook, one of four. I'm doing the outside, good luck. This is friends. Let's check the notebook he gave us. The outside is manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zooks. It is signed. Clementine. It's a Old Baltazar, Zolt, I don't know, Doc and Momo. How would you pronounce that death wish? Zolt? Spaltazar? Um, uh, me, Baltazar? I would say Silent Z, Baltazar. Yeah, Doc and Momo. Yeah. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks.
Because that's Momo and his friends. So yeah, as soon as we say for about 450 meters in diameter, there is a level above ours. The city seems to have ceilings. If I believe my books, a big blue sky is hidden behind. Also, hint, cow. Hint. Hint, hint. Nice that you can uh, re read it just in case. Yeah. You misinterpreted it or something like that. It's interesting. I love the fact like the controls are all janky when you got this bag on your head. <laughs> yeah, they they reverse everything. So forward is backwards, backwards is forward, left is right. I try to keep it on as long as possible because I adapt to backwards. Yeah, you know, stuff reversing quite well in, in this kind of scenario. And, but yeah, the bag still falls off. Naughty kitty. <laughs> yeah. There are locations that you'd be surprised you can get to, I have to say. Back home too. They're making some sort of film. That's a video game. Why can't I remember his name? Yes, uh, not going to open the door for us. Someone on the wall will match the one on the notebook. Yeah, why open the door when you get an open window? <laughs> Seems like a lead. Was a bit uh, hand holdy. Yeah, uh, sort of. It, it's I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. I think it's kind of a sort of a tutorial. 
fish. Kind of a thing. Puzzle me. Do it, do it. I don't know what happened. Puzzle me. You didn't see me do it. Can't prove anything. Yeah, Shaggy. Wasn't me. I was thinking more like Bart Simpson, but sure, we'll go with Shaggy. Uh, I mean, well, Shaggy, the song wasn't me. I mean, come on. Something's wrong someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the trends even went down. Another place called Midtown apparently is controlled by some kind of oppressive force. To my memory, his eyes. I know that look. <laughs> you will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. File 666.dot.dot. Now that's an early Macintosh. At least it looks like an early Macintosh to me. Yeah, the only Apple product I used was an Apple IIe. Well, I'm saying Macintosh, I mean, I just assume... That's just assuming everything was, um... A Macintosh back in the day. Yeah, uh, Well, they... They had... Computers called Macintosh, and then they had... Computers called Apple, so... Yeah, the Apple QE. Yeah, that was. We had those and Commodore 64s. And that, that's what our uh, computer, uh, computer system consisted of in our computer class. And I programmed in BASIC, and uh, the class taught Pascal. And yeah, the teacher was teaching straight out of a book. Uh, and Nick Cliff. Pretty funny. Shock. I mean, you, you wouldn't find that probably nowadays. I mean, anybody who's going to be a, in a computer science class, it's, they're going to have to know their stuff. Yeah, shit. Back then, I mean, that was in the, well, that was like 1989, 1990, 91. Yeah, they, uh, but they, they, they did what they could, but they, they didn't keep up with uh, some of us. It just wasn't a huge thing. But boy, did I make some money on selling report cards. Because I knew what type of printer <laughs> they used. They, they used the same computer system in the office to print out report cards. Yeah. Uh, dot matrix printer. So I was just about to say, it wasn't a dot matrix printer, was it? <laughs> yeah. Dot matrix printer. Uh, I've made a program where all I had to do was just enter your name, teacher's names that you could actually pick from, but you had to physically type in your name and whatever grade you wanted and not charge uh, based on the grades. <laughs> uh, yeah, I literally charged. It, would, it took me no extra effort do uh, anything you know to, to make somebody's report card an A or an F or a Q or a Y or an X or for that matter <laughs> but yeah I charge five dollars for an A four for C and 
Most people, to I, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> most people, most people were stupid, but at least smart enough to know that. Uh, well, because sometimes I would have to consult them, and say that. Uh, uh, yeah, let me let me see your current report card. Part of that part would say that I could just put the put their teachers' names in and format it, and then uh, and then I would add in the grades. And I'm like, no, you're you're not getting a B in this class, D. Your parents wouldn't believe it, uh, you know, or an A or whatever. It's like, you're like a D and F student, and now you got B's and C's. Yeah. They're yeah, you gotta believe. make it somewhat uh, believable, right? Yeah, well, that was, and see, some, some people said that you're losing money, you could have put straight A's and got $5, that, that'd be $35. Because we had seven classes, it's like, no, I want them to come back. I want their yeah. parents. I want their parents to believe that report card, and then of course, they have to come back after that, unless yeah. they, unless they own up. Because if they don't come back, they will have a different report card the next time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> And it won't uh, make sense. It won't tally. Uh, I, I was killing it. I sold uh, cigarettes uh, during lunchtime. Uh, one uh, quarter per cigarette. That was over here. It costs like 89 cents a pack. And there's 20 in a pack. And I was selling for a quarter a piece. And then when I got on the bus to go home, I had a uh, brown bag of uh, blue pops and other stuff, and uh, yeah, I made a ton off of those. Candy cost like one to five cents, and the blue pops I charged twenty five cents for. I think those were most expensive actually. They cost five cents, but yeah, I'd, I'd made five hundred percent. All right, we got um, Balthazar's uh, journal log here. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate, as if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks, although there is only one more to find. Where is our last notebook? It's out there for you to find. Uh, compared to your expectations before you started playing to now. It's very different. You... Very different to what I was expecting. Yeah. I think it's just, in general, it's a lot more, just a lot more chill than I was expecting. A lot more laid back. Yeah, it's, uh, kind of puzzle oriented but yeah I don't know because you, you, there are obviously puzzles and things that you got to figure out progress but you don't have to figure out everything but yeah if you uh I spent a lot of time in here, uh, quite a bit of which wreaking havoc, uh, and, and 
toppling things. Stuff that wouldn't topple ever, but I managed to make topple ever. <laughs> it's the death wish way. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. They were certainly trying. Not a lot of pianos around, to be fair. Yeah. I walked on every one I found, expecting something. It's a cozy little, uh, cozy little be home. place. Yeah. Yeah, when you when you want that uh, sleepy time achievement. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, I'll remember to uh, sort that right out. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Okay. Not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. All right, so we've got to find the safe. Yes, yeah, there was a, a hint earlier about it. I, I think. At least I took it that way. Uh, and they went looking for it then, before I even got to that. Oh, hey, there's a safe. It's Doc's notebook. Someone seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined the spectrum, spectrum into a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able to con capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Yeah, Momo's the man. <laughs> if I saw a cat running through books like that, I'd be like, holy shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> books, books don't really be that late. Yeah, the, uh, the, the physics aren't so believable there. <laughs> I mean... Seriously, what you expect? Yeah, I knocked over all of these works. I couldn't help myself. You don't get anything for it. I just did it because, well. No, I, I can. There's something quite satisfying about knocking those books <laughs> over, I'll be honest. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't help myself. Every pot, everything I saw, I couldn't help but knock it off. All right, so we've got to take that back to Momo. If you're wondering, uh, everything you you collect, uh, there's it's not like other games where you can just collect garbage like Fallout or you know whatever Borderlands. You can just collect garbage. 
everything you collect has a purpose. Okay. Oh, hey. That one was pretty hidden. Good job. Yeah. It, it kind of, other than the light, it kind of just slept in the background. Yeah, that, that was one of the last ones. I, I want to, like, where the hell is this? I, I, I didn't have to look at the signs or any of that stuff. I, where everything was, somehow there's another one. And I'm like, are you kidding me? But when I found it, but all right, so there is. One more of those to find. Ah, <laughs> oh, it never gets old. Yeah, purple up the robots. Yeah, and I, I got on a, I got sucked into the and was tripping up every one I could find. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's go find Cosma. Cosma is making use of deodorant. A uh, detergent, not deodorant. Yeah. You still haven't gotten the uh, detergent? Yeah. Once, once you made them drop the paint bucket and think that was their hobby, that was their fun time of Throwing paint buckets to each other. Look at there. Alright, it'd be pretty cool. I don't think there is one, but it would be pretty cool if there was like a vending machine in here, given that um, it's a bit like a laundrette, but I guess there isn't. Wow. Well, uh, it's crazy. What you think of when you think of it, and you're not wrong. All right, well, I can now go and... Man, there's a fly in my freaking office and it was like proper pissing me off. Excuse my language, but <laughs> what language pissing you off? That's not bad language here. Yeah, flies. Yeah. It, I'd say the only thing more annoying to me. So, uh, well, that's up there. Uh, I guess some people would say mosquitoes, but they don't bother me. They, even if I get bitten by them, it's very few, and I don't have an issue with, it. like, I don't have any marks or itchiness or any of that. I'm not affected by them. But, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get the cable. 
Well, you missed. You missed. You missed uh... You missed an achievement. Now we can head back to Grandma. Yeah, uh, she's amazing. I mean, she could take cables and make clothes. I think that's quite impressive. Hey, we got a poncho. It will suit you well. Can I wear the poncho? Oh, maybe I need to give it to somebody else, actually. So there's something about perfect for a cold robot. Yeah, I didn't catch that part, but it didn't stop me from moving on, no problem. This person here mentioned about Grandma. So we need to find a cold, cold robot. Possibly there was a couple of robots by the fire. Thumbs up. They're all meditating with their uh, mouths wide open. <laughs> yeah. Need to try and work out this code, I think, for the safe. Yeah, it's funny how, like, it goes back and forth. Like, sometimes I watch you play something, and you, like, get it right off the bat. And I'm like, come on. I, you, just, you just did that, and now I, like, work my ass off to do it. Like, this is the opposite I just I just did things naturally uh, that just worked out and it's not what you think <laughs> okay. I found it by because I automatically for me I was just being she was cat Huh. 
Right, let's start it. Um, there was uh, something I saw on the side of the beer barrels that were... Well, not to give it away, but when you see it, it's super obvious. Like, wherever it is, when you see it, you, you know that's what it's for. I wonder. Um. Okay, I was yeah, just shooting. It shoot was music. funny as <laughs> soon as soon as I said it, even on screen, you you had done it. So you did it before I said anything. Three, four, five, six. The two sheet music lesson. Yeah. I did that. And I had all all of this, all the notes, all the Well, I guess I've got to go and talk to Momo again, though. I guess. This one, I think. Oh, but I was starting. He was really a huge nerd for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. Uh, I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friends' notebooks? Oh, what's the note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. I'm sorry, I doubt your cause. I promise you, I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. On time. And voila, it works. Come with me. Up there, see that building high above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Reach for the sky. Yes. Okay. Yay. Now it's Assassin Creed's turn. Okay, well. Hey. I wasn't done. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you. Uh, anyway, I think that's probably a good place to uh, leave it for tonight. Um... Yeah, massively. I was really quite surprised, if I'm honest, with the uh, the game. I, I, I said I was kind of expecting a bit of a 
parkour kind of experience and um you know having this whole free roam kind of open world puzzle solving story kind of driven uh experience is really quite uh got me captivated so yeah i'll be looking forward to uh playing some more of this uh tomorrow night we'll carry on with our playthrough um yeah but until then thanks as always death wish thanks for um choosing this as a stream takeover thanks for joining me as always it's been an yeah. absolute pleasure as always always um but yeah guys uh, until next time Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.